Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another weekly ramble video. Now, uh, this video this week is a bit, I guess, more of a serious topic. Uh, you know, I knew I had to make this video. Uh, I, this wasn't the video I was planning on making for this week's ramble. This wasn't the game of Assassin's Creed multiplayer I was planning on showing for this episode of the weekly ramble. Uh, I had a really funny uh, game I was going to show during this episode, but it just didn't really suit the topic. I'll probably save it for next week, and again, if you haven't, if you don't know what the Weekly Ramble is, this is my second one, it's just where I, week to week, I sit down and talk about a topic like a mini podcast for myself to just blab on. No editing, just some ums and ahs in between the talking, so please excuse that. Uh, and, yeah, I mean... Lots of you have probably seen maybe Ethan's video about community stuff and all you saw on Twitter. There was some drama going on and this video really isn't about that specifically. It's about a whole lot of things. Uh, and this just kind of brought it on, right? I want to talk about the community. I want to talk about my role in it, the roles of my peers, the roles of you guys, and um, my thoughts on it and things like that and what... Uh, the, some of the things that have happened over the past couple of weeks means for our community. And I want to start by saying that I love the community. I really do. I am so grateful every single day for the role I get to play in it. You know, we've come together as a community because of our combined love for a gaming franchise. We've come together for our, you know, support of each other. My videos, James's videos, Ethan's videos, whoever's videos. You know, we've come together because of content, because of a game franchise, because of passion, because we're all a bunch of nerds. Uh, we all have our differences, but we all, you know, get along, for the most part, really, really well. We support each other, and uh, it's, you know, really amazing to see what's grown, and I'm grateful, truly, every single day for the small... Oh, excuse me, just burping a little because I'm having my coffee. Um... For the role I get to uh, play in the community, the small role it may be, but uh, all the same, it means a lot to me and always has ever since I used to watch the old Assassin's Creed community myself and I wanted to get involved and then I got involved, one community left, another began and lucky for me I got to be a huge part of that, I'd like to think anyway. Mm. So. When it comes to that, though, and my role in it, it's that even though we're all our own people, everyone can say, do as they wish, it's the internet, it's freedom of speech, I guess, but also, you know, the internet adds a bit more of a, you're hidden behind a screen element and a keyboard element to it, which is a bit bad, but uh, at the end of the day, I don't, with my role in it, sure, so many of you, I consider you, you know, friends. I really do. I actually mean that. Uh, I know it's a bit of a cliche thing YouTubers say, but I'm a small channel. I, I can say that and I mean that. And when I see people within our community for something like, let's say for example, people going over to Luma's streams and giving shit to their mods because they have their own rules and they're a bit more politically correct than what you're used to over on James's streams or Ethan's streams or whoever's streams. And that, to me, I get embarrassed. Not embarrassed, like, um, because you guys can do what you want, but sometimes it's like, when it goes too far, I might get embarrassed. And that's in a sense of, it has nothing to do with me. I wasn't involved. I haven't even been a person that's enabled that sort of behavior in the community. Uh, you know, James and myself, and even Ethan and George and Nick, we all have different views on the way we talk, on the way we do things, on the way we operate. And James is one of my good friends, and I'll always support him. And through all this stuff, I 100% uh, got his back. So I want to say that first and foremost. Uh, but we do have different ways we think and say things. And, you know, whether James likes it or not, we are role models to a certain extent, whether we like it or not. I accept that, you know, you've got to in a certain level, when people tell you that, you've got to take some level of responsibility for that, and even though James has never, ever, maliciously, ever said anything bad, trying to hurt someone, he just, he's not that type of person, he would never do that, 
um, when he jokes around, he has a certain type of humour. It's really not for everyone. No, not everyone has the same humour. Uh, but if someone takes that the wrong way, well, okay, that's, I guess they're not going to be friends. Well, that's fine. Not everyone's going to like you. That's how life works. But when you're in that position and people listen to you, younger people that uh, don't as much understand exactly the type of humor or even what you're trying to say or what your intents are, uh, they can either take it the wrong way and support you in the wrong way or they can take it the wrong way and get upset in the wrong way. And th what's happened is I guess someone has uh, said and done some things over on Twitter to certain people. I'm not going to name names. There's no need to, uh, but actions has, has been taken. That's the reality with that situation. Um, you know, I don't have anything personal against the person that did this. You know, I feel bad for them and I just hope they learn their lesson from it and they can grow as a person from there. That's all. I hope you're all the best. But within the community, I just, you know, you can't be a part of it. Uh, you can't be a member on, you know, as always, you know, Kill Connor Clubhouse patron stuff, you just can't, I can't allow it, um, in my business, uh, I, I'm gonna block you on Twitter, I'm gonna block you from my channel, you know, obviously there's ways around to still watch it, and it's not about you being allowed to watch it, it's just I can't, uh, have that sort of, uh, association, uh, in a, in a sense, I know it's very blunt, and it's a bit, uh, maybe over-aggressive, and I'm not trying to be that at all, but when things are taken the wrong way like that, and things are said that are just s disgusting in a way, uh, I just would saying racial remarks to someone, or homophobic remarks to someone, or sexist remarks to someone, it's just not acceptable. Um, you've got to be, if you want to be in the community, you've got to be a human being, and there's consequences to your actions, and as long as you learn from them, I guess that's a good thing, but at the same time, there still is the consequences. I'm not going to have a personal problem with you if you learn from your mistakes, that's the truth, but... From a professional standpoint of the role I got to do, I have to take some sort of responsibility for that from my end, and that's what I can do is by uh, not associating what I do with uh, people that say things like that. I just I can't I can't do it from a professional standpoint, and I think James I don't James hasn't put out a video about this since I'm recording this. He might have done it by the time this comes out. Or by the time you're listening to it, I know Ethan's already done one. That's why I took, a, you know, I gave myself 24 hours to sit down and record it. And I'm not sure how long this is going to go. Hopefully it doesn't go over the top too long. Uh, but, you know, James, I think, realises a bit more now that it's not about, even though he should be able to say what he wants and be his human, because he's not a bad guy at all. Never has been, and I don't think he ever will be. He's a great person. Uh, but taking the responsibility, at least for how he does impact people that listen to him and how uh, people look up to him and when they're younger people can be influenced in the wrong way and they don't take it the way he means things and he, that's maybe that's the case I don't know I don't want to put blame on James I don't think it's his fault I feel like I take responsibility as well I mean in terms of this sort of behavior I've, I've always drawn a line you know I don't have streams as anything so I'm not you know, I've been around on James's streams and Ethan's streams. I know people talk some crazy shit and get away with saying a lot of stuff because, you know, it's like, whatever. We're not going to get upset by it, so just we'll move on. Whereas me, I mean, I've always... That's them and I'm fine with it. I've been there to watch it. I police what I can as a moderator. That's It is what it is. Uh, I don't take things personally. I don't personally get offended by things like that. But, you know, it's just a certain level of being a kind human being and being the type of person I want to be around is why people get blocked and things like that. It's not that I actually get upset. I've never been upset or triggered by any, you know, thing, abusive thing someone said to me or abusive thing someone s said to someone else. But I go, well, you're not the type of person I want to be around or I want to be around my uh, online uh, community. So see you later. There's, you know, I'll catch you never. Um, that's that's what happens like that that's the consequence of it it's not me getting mad other people can get mad that's that's their decision they're allowed to for whatever reason the same way someone's allowed not to but i take a level of responsibility because like i said my role in the community i feel like uh you know when it's someone within my community that i'm involved with like that for my role uh and i know james and like ethan said he feels responsible i know james feels responsible and in that level i feel responsible uh for the people in my community for you guys that interact with us for the guys that support us i feel responsible um and it because the things that are said like that to someone tarnish not just your image but they do affect us 
whether you think they do or not, and it's, I'm not saying this from like a selfish point of like, you guys are saying this shit and that's affecting us and now I'm upset, that's not what I mean, but it's an extra thing you should think about. If you don't think that professionally affects me and James and Ethan and George and Nick and people we work together around, we're getting blamed for being people like that. They don't care whether we had anything to do with it or not. They see that person as, well, they must have got it from these guys. That's how they see it. Uh, I, I don't think, maybe me personally, I'm the person that's affected by this in that way because I have a very different uh, personality. I don't know, a personality or persona or... Uh, I don't know if it's image, but I have a different relationship with different people online and people from Ubisoft and people involved. I, I'm, you know, I'm not getting blocked anywhere by anyone. I, I have a good, you know good to at least acquaintance relationship with people uh, and I think that's the same but at the same time I have to say something and take uh, the responsibility to say to you guys you know saying things that are like this and you can again um, you can go on Twitter you can see it yourself if you really want to hear my opinion other people's opinion and if you want to follow what happened uh, but uh, that's not what's important what I'm, what's important is what I'm saying about the community and that's that as much as I love it, you know, we've all got to, and I see it as like my f online family. And in that sense, I am protective of it, but I also take the responsibility of it when things go wrong. And I've just got to put it out there that what happens, the consequences of it, you know, to me, there is no second chances for that because it is an online persona and it's so easy to do. You can't, you know, to a certain, like I'm not gonna I'm not a person that just blocks everyone left right and center I just I just because I don't care enough to do that but when it's things like that that are said it's just not acceptable and just see you later uh, I'll catch you never kind of thing so just so that's a line drawn as Ethan said in his video he wanted to draw the line and I, I I'm happy to say that I know this line's always been here on this channel I've never come across people doing this sort of shit on my channel I've never allowed it. I've never endorsed it, I've never promoted it, but I know some people that may think it's okay, or may think it's funny, it's not funny, it's not a joke, uh, and there's a difference between humour and bullying, there is, and it's a fine line, I know, but there is a very big difference, very big difference indeed, so I just want to address that. There's, there's not, it's happened more than once, it's not one individual's fault, let's be real here. It's, uh, it's been building, for sure, and something's just had to be said, I know, and I think now with all of us doing videos on it, uh, it'll, the message is going to be very clear, uh, with zero tolerance, and, uh, what goes on, and I apologise to people affected, I apologise to people upset, uh, and I apologise to you guys for having to listen to this video, because 99% of you are fucking amazing and I love all of you out there for that um, but you know there is the 1% that um, not bad people but you know have uh, some lef lessons to learn and it's not one individual's fault um, but it just has to be addressed I guess it is what it is I don't want to ramble on too long about this, because, uh, you know, that's not what the weekly ramble is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be an hour-long podcast. It is supposed to be, to a certain extent, concise, but a ramble all the same. And I want to make sure I get everything out. Uh, I guess I'll just finish with some closing statements, I guess. Which is, again, I love this community. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, if we all do what we're here to do, and it's get not always agree but we always get along we always respect each other uh, and we always have a good time and it's all fine to have a good laugh you know I love some good banter and a good laugh about stuff but sometimes there has to be a line drawn sometimes there has to be some serious discussions that go on it's just uh, what we have to do and that's okay that's okay sometimes it, sometimes it has to be done and I also want to say that uh, to m my friends out there to James to Ethan to George to Nick to all the other people that I'm close with in the Assassin's Creed and online community that I've got their support and I, I know I've got their support 
and I've got their backs 100%. I'll always support them. And I know James has some things he wants to say, and he'll take a lot of responsibility. And again, I want to reiterate, I don't blame... I don't think James is to blame for it, but he feels how he feels, and that's up to him. But I've I've got his back 100% through all of this, no matter what, because that's, uh, that's what friends do. Loyalty is very important to me. So, even if... Uh, I don't always agree with things James says. He's not a not a bad guy, and this is not his fault. Uh, I w- I just want to say that. But you know, even I feel like I need to take responsibility. So I assume he feels the same as Ethan does too. So that's just how it is. Um, again, I hope I'm sorry to all of you. I hope uh, we can all work together to move past this and to continue to support and be positive with each other, whilst also having critical thinking discussions that can be arguments in a fun sense, but not personal and not political. Just, we're here to talk about video games, guys. So let's keep doing that, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, at least it was over the top. Uh, I'm not sure what multiplayer games I'll use for this, I'll just kind of find, throw whatever's in there, I'm not really that fussed on that one particularly at the moment. And, uh, I will uh, talk to you guys very soon. I'll have some more cool videos this week coming out. And uh, again, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I love you all. So thank you guys so much for listening and for watching and getting through this. And let's not put blame on anyone. Let's not go after anyone. Let's just all work together to be a united, friendly, safe community to be a part of and for everyone else to be involved in. So guys, thank you. Love you all. Bye-bye.